Hello, this is Clever Crypto Mining Channel and today's topic will be Should you buy a Type 1 sensor now with 12 months of shipping time or not? We are going to check if you can get enough planets a year from now for a satisfying return on investment time. So let's find out. Here you can see the number of days in 2022 and you can see here the number of sensors online on these days. As you can see, the number is growing continuously, of course. Ok, so from where I got this data? Unfortunately, this historical data can be found on the PlanetWatch webpage, but it would be very useful for calculations like this. But one member of the PlanetWatch Facebook community made a great Excel sheet about the daily number of sensors online, so we should all thank her or him for the good work. I only found data for tier 1 sensors in this table, so I calculated the number of tier 2 sensors from the number of recycled planets. The amount of recycled planets can also be found on PlanetWatch webpage and you can check the historical data too for this. With this data in hand we can pretty accurately predict when the recycle bin will go empty. I made a chart for both recycle bins and with a trend line I can predict when they will be empty. So for tier 1 sensors it will happen in approximately 250 days. For tier 2 sensors the realistic number would be approximately 600 days. Ok, so now we know how the amount of planets in both tier 1 and tier 2 recycle bin will change in the future. Now we should check how the number of sensors will change in tier 1 and tier 2 areas. Here you can see a chart about that. As you can see the number of tier 2 sensors are way under the number of tier 1s. As we know the daily number of sensor changes we can use a trend line to estimate the equation of this curve. And now that we have the equation of the curve we can calculate the number of sensors at any time of the year. For example, 365 days from now the number of tier 1 sensors will be approximately 12,000 and the number of tier 2 sensors will be uh, roughly 340. And now with all these data in hand we finally can calculate the return on investment times in the future and I have to say it is devastating for tier 1 sensors. But let's check it together. Ok, so let's say our sensor will arrive in 665 days, which is a realistic estimation for now. On the first couple of days you will receive 33 planets a day and then it will decrease and decrease day by day. So why is that, you may ask? That's because the recycle bin will be completely empty by then. With 0.35 USD per planet's price you can also see the amount of USDs you will receive. So as you can see the return on investment time for a tier 1 sensor will be almost one year. But let's check this for tier 2 sensors. Maybe these sensors will be under their saturation point but if not, the recycle bin won't be empty, we can be sure about that. With 0.35 USD per planet's price, you can also see the amount of USDs you will receive. And as you can see, the return on investment time for tier 2 sensors will be 80 to 90 days. So almost 12 months of return on investment time for tier 1 sensors compared with 3 months for tier 2s. It's a huge difference. Of course, if we expect that the price of the planet tokens will be doubled, for example, the return on investment times will be much better. For example, if the price would be 0.7, the return on investment times were 100 or 120 days for tier 1 sensors and 40 to 45 days for tier 2s. So should you buy a type 1 sensor now? Well, if you live in a tier 1 zone, I would say yes, but don't expect a fast return on investment time. So if I lived in a tier 2 zone, I would order one right now. 
If I lived in a tier 1 zone, well, I would think it wise. If you consider yourself unlucky because you are living in a tier 2 zone, well, you are completely wrong as these sensors can reach a much lower return on investment time than tier 1 sensors in one year from now when the sensors will arrive to you. It's pretty interesting because I see a lot of people complaining about the location they live in, but they absolutely shouldn't. In another video I will check type 2 and type 3 sensors in the same way, so stay tuned. And if you haven't been familiar with saturation point or recycle bin yet, you should watch my other video about this topic. It was Clever Crypto Mining Channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you are interested in Planet Watch and other similar crypto mining projects. Bye.